Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. I've got my palette with all kinds of colours on. <laughs> I thought I would use it. And uh, I've got my other... Ooh, I've just dropped something. I've got my other one and uh, I've got a few paints on. So... I have a few colours in this painting. So I've got this as well. <laughs> I save all, saving all my paint. Just reusing it over and over. Keep spraying it with water. Keep putting it in the fridge. And uh, you're alright. So I'm going to make some blue. Just some ultramarine blue and cerulean blue. On the brush. Just to show you. So that's what this plate mainly is. The blues. So I've got some ultramarine blue there. Cerulean blue and some white. We use that to make our sky colour. It's quite nice. We'll have a nice sky coming in around here. Just throw that in. It's nice. That is nice. Now, what I want is a really nice blue. That's here. And some. Uh, I want it to be quite bright, really. Quite white. There we go. That's more like it. Nice and light. I love these spots in the water. We've got some uh, water here. I'll take that around like that. More of that white. And maybe a bit more there. Okay. More that there. Okay, I'm just I'm feeling nice and relaxed today. <laughs> it's gonna be a relaxing painting to do. No stress, just a fun little picture and some water. Get some cooler colour, some more ultramarine blue in there. Maybe that's a little bit too cold. A bit more of the cerulean blue and white. That's probably about right. Have some different colours in the water. Blues, ultramarine blues and cerulean blues. Nice and cold up here, where the horizon is. Build that up a bit. Just want to uh, throw in different colours today, for different blues. And give it an overall sort of look. Blue there, 
bit there. Cover up some of these yellows. Yellow with the paper. <laughs> There's some different colour, sort of a, a greyish, greenish colour in here, something like corals and things under the water. And rocks and things. We can paint them in and uh, we can always put some water on the top if we want to. Something like that. Okay, I'm enjoying it too much here. <laughs> There's nothing uh, more fun than just sloshing paint around, is there? I just really enjoy myself. Get that paint and just start moving it around. Bit of beach colour there. I need to uh, get a, sort of a cleaner, cleaner colour than what I've got. Just starting to. Get a bit of a beach colour in there. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll get like a bit of a Naples yellow or yellow ochre and white. Get a nice pure colour. It'll probably work. So I'm going to put some some rock as well make this a bit more of a bay type area a little bit of a dark maybe some green some blue a little brown, green and blue we'll use that to create our land have it sort of going uh, something like that, like this, and down. Maybe we can pull that in there, and that could go off like that. And then that goes off like there. And we can uh, probably maybe dry this now and then we'll carry on. Okay, so I've just given that a quick dry. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna start adding, I wanna get my beach 
sort of colour going. So I'm going to use some yellow ochre and white. Try and get it as clean as possible. <laughs> Something like that. And we've got our beach going along here. Along there. Quite a big beach there. And maybe off. And then round. So we're looking down. Come up there. Maybe there's a bit of a beach here as well, a little cove. Got the hiccups. <laughs> Now I'm going to start lightening up some of this rock, I think. Let's use a bit of, uh, um, well, if you use yellow ochre for the sand, let's use a bit of yellow ochre in with this. There's a bit of green and blue and red and all sorts in there. But, but that's all right, it's not interesting. Something different. I have this rock. Maybe the light's coming this way. So this rock got a bit of a light coming over here. Do this as well. I'm letting the paint kind of break a bit as well. I'm not putting too much pressure on it. Allow it to break up a bit. I'm gonna throw in a bit of green as well. It'd be nice to have a bit of green in this nice healthy place to be. Bit of a darker green for that side there. area there. Bit of a darker colour on that side. Something like that. Maybe using a yellow, bit of yellow can get an indication of a few trees back here. A few indications, just splodging really. Get a bit of light on them. Why not? Yeah, quite like that. Now, I might get a little bit of a... Uh, lighter colour, maybe there's a bit of a... Uh, light in this. A few rock shapes. Just use my finger to remove some of that, just to have a bit on there as well. Again, use my finger just to create a bit of an effect. Quite like it. Quite like the effect. Same here. Bit of light there. Bit 
bit of rock. Yeah, something like that. And then, I think what I'll do... Get some of my blue. And I'll bring some of that towards the rock. Something like that. In the sky, blue as well. Ultramarine blue and Give that a little bit of shape. Sort of bringing that water in a little bit. Now, a little bit of light. Bit of light. Bit of white. Have a little bit of a wave going. Sort of there. And you can have like little clips of light. I think I might use another brush. Use them a little bit thinner. And I can get some of this water that's sort of splashed up against that. some of these to make it give it more transparency for that water get some of that over the top and then uh, right down here we can be quite shallow Sometimes I find it's a good idea to uh, let some of the paper show through. If the paper's like like this for seas, it's perfect. You can you can let it show through, and it works. But we're quite far away, so there we go. Some nice shapes and splashes and things going on. And I think I might um, put a little bit of cloud in. Although I, I left it free of cloud, but I feel like a little bit of wispy cloud would be nice.
I'm going to grab a bit of yellow and warm some of this area up. Let that sunshine hit it. Okay, and you could populate this if you wanted, you could put people on the beach, you could do all kinds of things. I think I'm going to, uh, might leave it there, might leave it clear. Maybe the, we're stood here, taking the picture, and there's a few grassy things there, up here, we're looking down. Something like that. We can uh, we can bring this out, this beach. Why not have a nice long beach? And then maybe I'll uh, have something. Maybe I'll have a, a, bit a, uh, a bird in the sky. Have a few. There we go. And I'll give them a little bit of light. Since the light's coming this way, just hit the uh, the wings a bit. And you can really go into detail if you want to, put in some different breaks in this. A greeny sort of look in that. Just to uh, finish this. A little bit of uh, covering there. Yeah, I think I'm about there really. There's a uh, nice little coastal scene 
that you uh, that you could easily do. You could paint this one, and uh, like I said, you can put a few people on if you want. If you want some people on the beach, <laughs> I'll just throw in a few little marks. Get a little bit of a dark sort of reddish colour. I'll put a couple of people on there. Oops. They're a long way off. There's a few people. <laughs> I'll just uh, shrink that one. Looks a bit wide. There we go. I'll do. I don't want to do too much of that because they're way off. You can barely see them. So yeah, there we go. There's a nice little uh, coastal scene that you could do. And uh, thanks very much for watching this one. And I'll see you at another one. Cheers. Bye. Mm -hmm.